welcome to this lecture. Today, we are going to deal with these topics little quickly but in detailed approach. My name is Gunjan Subedi and as always, I will be guiding you in this topic with practical explanation and examples when necessary. Before starting, let me kindly remind you to subscribe to My Lean University, which is my initiative to deliver free and quality professional education to your screen. In this lecture, we are going to study about the chi-square independence test, which is also called chi-square test for association. Chi-square test for association or chi-square independence test is generally used to see if there is any relation between the two sets of variables. In this example here, we are looking if there is a role of uh, different in charges who are handling uh, different production uh, batches over the production outcomes. Now, basically, there are three outcomes produced by these in charges batches uh, production on time, batches that were delete, and batches that has to be reprocessed. Here, the batches means the lot of the items that are being produced and which are handled by different in charges. Now, let us transform this data into minute half. Here, we have the same data in the minute half. These are the outcomes uh, produced by the in charge A, in charge B, in charge C, and in charge D. So, for chi square test of association or chi square independence test, we first go to the stat and we click the table. Here, we can see different uh, options such as tally individual variables, chi square test for association, cross tabulation, and chi square, and chi square goodness of fit test or one variable test. We will study chi square goodness of fit later. Uh, for now, we are generally interested in the chi square test for association. So, click chi square test for association. Here, a uh, window appears chi square test for association. Now, there are different options such as uh, raw data or categorical variables and summarized data in a two way table. Now, we have a summarized data in a two way table that means we have row and columns. So, we click, we select this uh, option summarized data in a two way table. In the next tab, you have to select each of these C1, C2, C3, C4. Okay. Let's click OK. Now here we can see the chi-square test for association for the first kind of outcome. We see the same data that we had entered 18, 50, 76 and 32. And the numbers below these uh, data are the expected values. And this is the sum. So the sum of 18, 50, 76 and 32 is 176. And the sum of 32, 12, 15, is 59 that means the sum of row and column are given in the extreme ends and this is the sum total that is sum of the rows or sum of the columns value below this number 25.83 49.86 64.87 etc are the expected chi square values so the sum of expected chi square values is also 176 and the sum of all the expected uh, chi square values are also 293 if we scroll further, we can see some more data. Here we see the Pearson chi-square score and the likelihood ratio chi-square score. And the degrees of freedom are 6 each. Now, how do we calculate degree of freedom? Degrees of freedom is equal to number of rows minus 1 times number of columns minus 1. That means 3 minus 1, that is 2, times 4 minus 1, that is 3. So, the multiplication of 2 times 3 is a 6. So, degrees of freedom is a 6. And the p-value is 0 0.00. That means the p-value for both uh, Pearson and likelihood ratio is 0 0.00. Now, to actually see whether there exists some relation between the in charges and the outcomes, we have to see the p-value and alpha value. If we set our alpha value at 0 0.05, this p-value is actually lesser than 0 0.05. Whenever p-value is lesser than the alpha value, then what does it mean? It means that we have to reject the null hypothesis. Now, the null hypothesis in this case is there is no relation or there is no independence. And the alternative hypothesis is there is some relation between these two sets of variable. What does it mean? we fail to reject the null hypothesis. So, null hypothesis is not true here. Alternative hypothesis suggests that there is some relation. So, the outcome is most likely due to the management of the different in charges. The outcomes can be increased or decreased depending upon the in charges. There is some problem with the work of the in charges if the outcome is really very low. 
So this is all about the chi-square test for association or chi-square test for independence. Actually, the likelihood ratio is just an alternative for Pearson test. As you can see here also, there is not so much difference. 30.649 and 30.657. So you can look either one of these for the chi-square test. The important one is the p-value and the alpha or the level of significance. As in this case, if the p-value is less than any value of alpha, then there must be some relation between the rows and columns variable. Before ending this lecture, let me remind you to join my Lean University's premium membership and enjoy a total free access for a limited time inside my Lean University's online library and get tons of free courses, free books and lecture topics on project management, Lean and Six Sigma, operations and supply chain, productive and preventive maintenance, quality maintenance, data science, industry and sales management, agile and scrum, kaizen or continuous improvement and much more totally free. No strings attached. As we have limited seats, only the early subscribers will be given open access inside the premium membership. And remember, it's totally free. Please subscribe and share the video if you share the common belief that professional education should be accessible to all.